Hi, I'm Keith Kamholtz, and I'm a senior effects technical director specializing in destruction. I've worked at a whole bunch of studios over the years, including Double Negative, Industrial Light and Magic, Blue Sky Studios, Tippett Studio, and Framestore New York. In this course, we'll be going over tried and true production proven techniques for getting beautiful destruction work done quickly, and we'll also be going over some non-standard unique workflows that can be a real lifesaver in a production environment. In all of the demonstration videos, I'm going to build all of the networks in Houdini node by node without relying on any pre-built networks or shelf tools or anything like that. There will also be a weekly live Q&A session where I'll answer any questions you might have and demonstrate any things you might be struggling with or have any questions or curiosities about. I'll also give you weekly critiques on your homework assignments and this will be video feedback complete with drawovers and the type of notes that you might expect to get from a director or an effects supervisor and it'll help to get you used to uh, doing this sort of work in a production environment. This sort of feedback is one of the most valuable things about the course because it can take some time and practice to get used to responding to these types of notes that you'll be getting in the real world and it helps to develop your artistic eye and your analysis of your own work and these are things that you can't get simply by learning the technical setups on their own. As for the weekly lesson plan, in week one we'll be looking at Voronoi and Boolean fracturing basics and how to achieve a few different types of real world looks. We'll also discuss transferring animation between Maya and Houdini and how to debug various fracture problems that might pop up when you're trying to cut up your geometry. In week two, we'll go over some more advanced Boolean fracturing techniques and we'll also create a couple different Houdini digital assets or HDAs that you can use for streamlining your future fracture processes. In week three, we'll be going over pack geometry, art directing your damage areas, and manually sculpting some damage and destruction deformation without any simulation whatsoever. In week four, we'll be getting deep into bullet rigid body simulation. We'll go over all of the basics, various techniques for activating geometry and setting velocities, as well as caching workflows and other similar tips and tricks. Week five is all about constraints, how to create those constraint networks and how to modify them and break them and etc. In week six, we'll be adding secondary elements to our destruction simulation and we'll go over adding instance particle debris and some fluid simulations for the dust and we'll also go over emitting rigid body objects as if they were particles. In week seven, we'll be using hard constraints and proxy objects to simulate some deformable effects in bullet. We'll also take a look at some real world damage reference and add some procedural rebar to our shot and some other interesting internal construction detail as well. Finally, in week eight, we'll prepare this entire building for destruction and we'll add some explosions bursting from inside the building and then we'll simulate a full building collapse. I also highly encourage you to create multiple camera angles of both the close-up shot and the wide full building shot and edit those together to create a really nice demo reel piece at the end of the course. I really truly enjoy teaching all of this sort of destruction work and I hope you enjoy the class as well and I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of sweet effects you come up with.